Welcome or welcome back to Solo Marvel Champion. Today I'm playing Wolverine against Juggernaut. I've done all of the setup and I just put Wolverine's claws into play. Now that is what everyone was doing before we got the new rules reference. The new rules reference tells us to set it aside and then Logan got errated to say put Wolverine's claws into play. But, essentially, you can just put it in play at the beginning. Let's give me a shuffle. There are several things I would like to see in my opening hand. Um, let's just see what we get. Don't necessarily need Jubilee right away, but it would be a nice start. I do want the resources to expose him. That is a bad mix, because I've got two of everything. And I wouldn't want to pull that adamantian skeleton out anyway. Let's, let's keep these and keep these. And I hate to do it, but I'm going to mulligan that mission leader. And let's just hope to get a mental or an energy. I did get an... Uh, mental so we're going to use those three to expose him not the greatest start but i think it's going to be all right let's go ahead and flip up and i will go ahead and do that mental 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 to expose juggernaut i'm going to use these two for his skeleton that is super important number one it gives me plus four hp more importantly, it gives my basic attacks piercings. Now, I can attack for three. He should have a tough on him. I can attack for three, which pierces through his tough and still does three damage. Hope can attack for three, but she's actually going to deal four because he's exposed. So, Hope deals four. I would like a cheap ally to block. Uh, let's see if I can get one on this turn. Something I'm going to do, because I always forget to heal at the beginning of my turn, I am going to, after drawing my cards, put this on top of them so that I, when I pick up my cards, I remember to heal. One, two, three, four, five. Um, some doubles. It's at least going to put a rapid response into play for me. And I did have Forge and Black Panther in discard, so that's interesting as well. So, let's do, like I said, put that down, put the die on it, so at the beginning of my turn, I can remember to heal. One goes on the main, Juggernaut attacks for two, only two, and I get one encounter card. Well, right away, I can, I mean, I think we have to do that. Let's just go ahead and go down and exhaust. I at least get that out of the deck right away. Unfortunately, now I can't heal that too, because that is not the side that does that. You have to be in hero for that healing. So I think what I do here is make the call for Forge. So Forge is going to come into play. When he enters play, I get to tutor a support. I'm going to tutor that X-Jet that was also in discard. Then I'm just going to do one, two, three for that X-Jet. I can't use it this turn, but I will be able to use it next turn. Let's flip up. Go ahead. Forge can also attack for two now. He's attacking for one, but he'll do two because he's mental. And I think as much as I would like to attack with Hope, I'm going to thwart two with her. You don't want that to grow too big. Let's ready. I am going to keep that rapid response. 
Plunging Strike looks really attractive. Angel looks really good too. Don't know what I'm going to do with that Rapid Response yet. One goes on the main. Juggernaut is going to attack and Forge will block. That's two. Getting good on not having boosts. I also have gotten rid of an advance, which is nice. One encounter card. Ooh. She exhausts and cannot ready. That has three on it. Knowing that that is the case, let's go ahead and heal four. Heal two, rather. Knowing that's the case, let's get Angel in. Angel only costs two. I still want to hold on to that rapid response. So I'm going to use those two for Angel. And let's thwart three. Then... Let's take three damage and exhaust Wolverine's Claws for Lunging Strike. That's going to deal eight, taking him down to one. I don't necessarily want to go ahead and defeat him. And I did make a mistake there. I used that double to pay for Angel. So let's back it up just a bit. Instead of that power of leadership, I would have used X-Jet and then that for my rapid response. Don't necessarily want to push him yet because I want to have the resources to expose him again after I push. Let's draw one, two, three, four, five. Another Lunging Strike is really big coming out of, or coming after the push. And this can deal 8, 12. I can do a lot of damage next turn, and I might be able to get the win. Again, put those down with a die so I can remember to heal. One goes on the main. He attacks, and... I think I'm just going to take this one. Two, three, four, five. One encounter card. Guard quick strike. Let's. I would rather just be stunned. I don't, I mean, just be exhausted. I don't really want to be both exhausted and stunned. So I think I'm just going to defend so that I take no damage and I'm not stunned. Let's heal two. That did hurt a little bit though. And I do have Forge back in my discard pile. I wonder, I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's start with two for Berserker Barrage. I think I've, I've got to do it in that order, unfortunately. So I am going to lose a lot of damage. So let's not do that. Instead, let's attack for three here. And then have... Angel push. Now, when Angel pushes, if Exposed was in play, flip it. He gets one momentum, and he has 21 health. Let's do Mental, Mental, Mental to expose him again. And let's drop three for another lunging strike to deal eight. Let's hold off right there. Let's let him attack me once. See if I can draw Professor X. And if I can draw Professor X, I'm going to flip down to Alter Ego.
Uh, Colossus might be good too because he's only going to cost three and he's going to get me two blocks. All right, let's just go with this, see what happens. One goes on the main. He is attacking for a three this time. That's three, four. Juggernaut gets a tough. Angel dies, but I'm going to use rapid response. Put Angel back in with one damage. One encounter card. Choose to take damage equal to his attack or discard the highest upgrade or support I control. That would be X-Jet, or I can just take three damage. I think I get rid of X-Jet here because I want to use his health as a resource. Beginning of the turn, we are going to heal two. And how much damage can I actually do here? He is exposed, so I could get three, which is piercing. Because of this, that's three, seven, eight, nine. I've got all the damage I need. Let's go ahead and pierce for three. One, two, three. Let's hit with hope for four. And let's just use claws and three health for slice and dice deal three damage deal three damage and that's wolverine versus juggernaut this deck is actually built around reanimating jubilee for all the extra damage i get uh, but i haven't even seen jubilee yet let's see how far down she is there's one hand Two hands she's gonna be almost all the way at the bottom she's three turns away so Wolverine is really powerful with his claws and attack events so I was able to beat Juggernaut without even getting the main focus of this deck which is Jubilee so let me know in the comments what you think it, what do you think about Wolverine I, I really like him in my favorites video I said that he is my one of my favorite in this wave i think he's a lot of fun like sub and comment all those things that youtube likes and i would appreciate it too thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a marvelous day